Gonioscopy is a specialized examination technique in ophthalmology. It is a critical procedure that allows eye care professionals to gain a detailed view of the anterior chamber angle of the eye, which is not visible through routine examination methods. It allows visualization of the iridocorneal angle, a vital area where the iris meets the cornea. This angle is essential for the proper functioning of the eye's drainage system. The iridocorneal angle is where the iris meets the cornea. This junction is crucial for maintaining the balance of intraocular pressure within the eye. This angle houses the trabecular meshwork, a spongy tissue that plays a crucial role in draining aqueous humor from the eye. Proper functioning of this meshwork is essential for maintaining healthy eye pressure. Dysfunction in the trabecular meshwork can lead to elevated intraocular pressure, which is a key risk factor for developing glaucoma. Elevated pressure can cause significant damage if not managed properly. Glaucoma damages the optic nerve, which is responsible for transmitting visual information from the eye to the brain. Damage to this nerve can result in irreversible vision loss if not detected and treated early. Gonioscopy helps diagnose and manage glaucoma by assessing the angle's structure and function. By examining the angle, clinicians can determine the type of glaucoma and the best course of treatment. Early detection through gonioscopy is critical for timely treatment and preserving vision. Identifying issues at an early stage allows for interventions that can prevent further damage and maintain quality of life. Understanding gonioscopy is essential for clinicians managing glaucoma. Mastery of this technique enables them to provide comprehensive care, ensuring that patients receive the best possible outcomes in their treatment plans. The gonulins, a specialized contact lens, is a crucial tool in the field of ophthalmology. It is key for performing gonioscopy, a procedure that allows eye care professionals to examine the anterior chamber angle of the eye. By neutralizing the corneal curvature, the gonulins provides a clear view of the iridocorneal angle, which is essential for diagnosing various eye conditions. This visualization is critical for assessing the drainage angle of the eye, which can reveal important information about the patient's ocular health. The Goldman gonulins, a three-mirror lens, is often considered the gold standard for gonioscopy. Its three mirrors provide a comprehensive, panoramic view of the angle, allowing for a thorough and detailed assessment. This panoramic view is invaluable for detecting abnormalities and planning appropriate treatments. Other lenses, such as the Zeiss four mirror lens, offer different advantages. The Zeiss lens, for instance, allows for a quicker examination as it does not require rotation. The Kepa lens, on the other hand, is often used for direct gonioscopy and provides a direct view of the angle structures. The choice of lens depends on the examiner's preference, the specific clinical situation, and the details required from the examination. Regardless of the type of goniolens used, it remains an indispensable tool for detailed examination of the eye's anterior chamber angle. This detailed examination is crucial for the accurate diagnosis and personalized management of glaucoma a condition that can lead to vision loss if not properly managed. By using the goniolins, ophthalmologists can tailor their treatment plans to the specific needs of each patient, ensuring the best possible outcomes. The advancements in goniolins technology continue to enhance the capabilities of eye care professionals, making it easier to detect and treat eye conditions early. Ultimately, the goniolins is more than just a tool. It is a window to the angle of the eye, providing critical insights that help protect and preserve vision. Careful preparation ensures patient comfort and accurate gonioscopy. Explain the procedure to the patient and obtain informed consent. Instill a topical anesthetic drop to numb the eye. Apply a viscous methyl cellulose solution to the goniolins to eliminate air bubbles. Proper patient positioning at the slit lamp is essential. Adjust the slit lamp height and angle for optimal visualization. These steps ensure patient comfort and accurate findings. Proper preparation paves the way for a successful examination. With the patient positioned comfortably and the eye thoroughly anesthetized, begin by gently retracting the upper eyelid. This step is crucial to ensure that the patient remains at ease throughout the procedure. Instruct the patient to look upwards. This upward gaze not only provides better access to the eye, but also helps in stabilizing the eye, making the procedure smoother and more efficient. Approach the eye with the gonulins held perpendicular to the cornea. Ensure that your hand is steady to avoid any sudden movements that could startle the patient or cause discomfort. 
gently place the lens on the inferior cornea, taking care to avoid applying pressure on the limbal area. This delicate placement is vital to prevent any potential damage to the eye. Once the lens is in contact with the cornea, rotate it upwards until it rests comfortably. This rotation helps in positioning the lens correctly, ensuring that it provides a clear view for the examination. Use the slit lamp joystick to direct the light beam through the lens. Adjust the light beam carefully to illuminate the area of interest without causing glare or discomfort to the patient. Accurate placement and manipulation of the gonia lens are essential for a successful gonioscopy. Take your time to ensure that the lens is positioned correctly and that the light beam is focused precisely on the area you need to examine. This meticulous approach will yield the best results and provide valuable insights into the patient's eye health. With the gonulins in place, visualize the iridocorneal angle. Examine the entire circumference, focusing on key landmarks. Identify Schwalbe's line, the trabecular meshwork, and the scleral spur. Assess the ciliary body band and the iris root for abnormalities. Note the angle width, trabecular meshwork pigmentation, and any abnormal vessels. These findings aid in diagnosing and managing glaucoma. Gonioscopy provides essential information for clinical decision-making. Indentation gonioscopy assesses the potential for angle closure. Apply gentle pressure on the central cornea to push the aqueous humor peripherally. Observe the peripheral iris's response to determine the degree of angle closure. If the angle widens, it suggests appositional closure. If it remains narrow, it indicates synechial closure. This technique helps identify individuals at risk of angle closure. Indentation gonioscopy guides appropriate management strategies. The corneal wedge technique offers a quick alternative to gonioscopy. Direct a narrow beam of light at the corneal limbus using a slit lamp. Observe the illumination pattern in the anterior chamber. Assess the ratio of corneal thickness to the illuminated area. A wider illuminated area suggests a wider angle. This technique is useful when gonioscopy is challenging. It provides a valuable screening tool for angle closure risk. Confirm suspicious findings with gonioscopy when possible. Understanding normal anatomical variations is crucial for gonioscopy. The aridocorneal angle appears as an open, triangular space. Angle width varies among individuals and between eyes. A wider angle indicates a lower risk of angle closure. The trabecular meshwork appears as a translucent, mesh-like structure. Pigmentation varies depending on ethnicity and individual factors. The scleral spur and ciliary body band are important landmarks. Recognizing normal variations aids in accurate interpretation. Gonioscopy reveals crucial information about the iridocorneal angle. Assess the angle width to determine the risk of angle closure. The trabecular meshwork's appearance provides insights into drainage. Open angle glaucoma may show increased pigmentation or sclerosis. Angle closure glaucoma presents with distinct findings like bowed iris. Peripheral anterior synechiae indicate chronic angle closure. Recognize neovascularization and inflammatory cells for accurate diagnosis. Interpreting these findings guides effective glaucoma management. Gonioscopy is pivotal in diagnosing and managing glaucoma. It helps understand the underlying mechanism and tailor treatment. In open-angle glaucoma, it confirms the diagnosis and assesses severity. For angle closure glaucoma, it differentiates between appositional and synechial closure. Gonioscopic findings influence treatment decisions. Medications, laser trabeculoplasty, and surgical interventions are guided by gonioscopy. It plays a critical role in every stage of glaucoma management. Gonioscopy remains indispensable for ophthalmologists. Mastering gonioscopy is a lifelong journey for clinicians. It requires dedication, patience, and continuous learning. Understanding the principles and techniques is the first step. Practical experience and regular practice are crucial. Accurate interpretation requires a keen eye for detail. Integrate gonioscopic findings with other clinical data for comprehensive management. Continuous improvement enhances patient care. Every patient interaction is an opportunity to refine your technique. 